Hello. Today we are going to learn about time zones. Do you know what time zones are? Time zones are vertical lines that run from the North Pole to the South Pole. Each vertical line is spaced in 15 degrees apart. Why 15 degrees, some may ask? 15 degrees because the Earth moves 15 degrees every hour. There are 24 time zones because there are 24 hours each day. Therefore, 24 hours multiplied by 15 degrees equals 360 degrees, which is one rotation of the Earth. The two most popular vertical lines are the prime meridian and the international date line. The prime meridian is a line that runs from the north to the south pole at zero degrees. The international date line, on the other hand, is a line that runs from the north to the south pole in the opposite direction of the prime meridian at 180 degrees. The standard time at the prime meridian will always be 12 noon, while the international date line will always be 12 midnight. Each experience day and night differently. How do I calculate time within different time zones? Firstly, to calculate time without passing, the international date line. Moving to the right direction, you add one hour every zone you pass until you reach your destination. Moving to the left, you subtract one hour every zone you pass until you reach your destination. For an example, Perth Australia is 8 p.m. What time would it be in Sydney, Australia? When you move to the right, as mentioned earlier, you add one hour until you reach your destination, which is Sydney. If Perth is 8 p.m., Sydney would be 10 p.m. Same applies vice versa. If Sydney is 10 p.m., what time would it be in Perth? Because you're moving to the left, you subtract one hour. Sydney is 10 p.m., you pass by two time zones, therefore Perth would be 8 p.m. Now that we have learned how to calculate time without passing the international dateline, the following step we are going to learn how to calculate time when you pass the international dateline. When you move to the right passing the international dateline, you add one hour and you would always be a day behind. When you move to the left passing the international dateline, you subtract one hour and you will always be a day ahead. Therefore, countries on the west side of the international dateline are always a day ahead, while countries on the east side of the international dateline are always a day behind. For an example, if Sydney is 10 p.m. on Monday, what time would it be in Los Angeles, United States? If Sydney is 10 p.m. Monday evening, Los Angeles would be experiencing 4 a.m. on Sunday. Now that we have learnt the steps on how to calculate time in different time zones, practice the following learning activities to test how well you understood our lesson. Question number one. It is 4 a.m. in Los Angeles, Sunday morning. What time would it be in Beijing, China? The answer is... 你好,在中国,现在是晚上七点,晚上好。Hello, good evening, it's 7 p.m. in China now. Question number two, it is 10 p.m. Monday evening in Sydney. What time would it be in Paris, France? The answer is... Bonjour, bonsoir. C'est un heure après-midi dans son Bari, en France. Hello, good evening. It is 1 o'clock p.m. in Paris, in France. Question number three. It is 12 noon on Sunday in London. What time would it be in the Kingdom of Tonga? The answer is... Hello, Lele. Hello, it's 12 midnight in Tonga. That is the end of our lesson today. It is my hope that the learning outcome of this lesson was well achieved. Thank you very much for participating.